Good morning and welcome to the Morning Coffee with John Platzer. Today I'm focusing on the retail sector. Few businesses were spares as the lockdown put in place to contend the COVID-19 pandemic literally destroyed the U.S. retail sales in April. In fact, non-store retailer, i.e. mostly e-commerce dealer, were the only ones seeing positive sales goals compared to an already weak March. According to the latest estimate, the entire retail industry and it suffered dramatic sales declines with closing electronic and furniture stores hit particularly hard by the stay-at-home order. Meanwhile, food and beverage stores and building material and garden equipment dealers proved relatively immune to the crisis, with the former even recording a plus 12% sales increase over April 2019. That will, of course, bring massive bankruptcies in the sector. Analysts predict nearly 100,000 stores will be forced to close by 2025 as shopping shift online and people stop going in person. One of the most affected retail stores involves office supplies, where experts predict that only 50% of its current stores will remain in the next five years. Many retail corporations are drawing in endless debt and mounting interest payment are a major factor for why many will, close to cl um, will choose to close bricks and mortal stores sooner rather than later. So is that the end of the retail sector? And especially in the US, certainly not but without the help of the e-commerce that might be hard to survive. Is that why Facebook, for example, is now moving into shopping? The move into e-commerce has been in the pipeline since a long time, but the coronavirus crisis has clearly accept, uh, accelerated the launch. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Read my morning and keep on winning.